Hi, I'm uh, James McKelland. I'm the co-owner of uh, Service First, the distributor of train uh, train products. Um, and James, sorry, we, we're now a year on um, from the looting and unrest that caused billions of rands worth of damage. I know your properties within this business park were affected. Could you just give us a background about the rebuilding process and, and what happened to your your business at the time of the looting? Yeah, the time of the looting, we were uh, looted and then burnt out. Uh, we lost units three and four, and we lost a unit across the road here. So in total, we lost three out of four units. Um, you know, we knew this process of insurance payout could take a while, so we couldn't wait. And you know, we wanted to keep working, so we worked out of one unit that was spared, and we built our main workshop and office in three and four year, and we've continued. Uh, it took us about ten months to build, so we've been in now about two months, and uh, we're up and running. You know. Um, and I know we were just discussing before that there's a little bit of apprehension and a little bit of fear about something like this happening again. Um, do you feel that it's always at the back of your mind that, that something similar could reoccur? Mm, absolutely. I mean, that's probably my worst fear is that this happens again. Um, yeah, we hope this was a once-off and uh, those that were involved, hopefully they won't be back. Uh, yeah, so just got to hope and pray. And on an optimistic side, as I've walked through the business park today, there are um, some of the buildings being rebuilt and work being done to repair. Does that give you hope at least that some businesses will be back as well and be up and running soon? Yeah, no, look, for sure. Um, in the beginning, it was just, we were the only guys building and it was still rather eerie, you could say that. But now that uh, insurance has finally paid out, People are starting to rebuild, as you can see, and things are starting to look good again. And within another six to eight months, I think we'll be everybody will be back up and running. Perfect. It'll be fantastic. Thank you for your time. All right, cool. My name is Philip Supersad, and I own the Lighter Master Printers, a general printing, uh, mostly for the apparel industry. And as you can see, uh, the July unrest has been devastating, and building here in the back has been totally destroyed and the next building has been partly burnt and destroyed and looted and we basically lost almost everything our hard work's gone down the drain 28 people out of job we're trying to re rebuild again but as you know Saisha has been really dragging the feet and now we've eventually got a little bit of the funding I think the total damages here is almost 78 million wow. within the business park Mr. within the business uh, complex and, and for you, can I ask you, we, we were discussing earlier on, do you fear something like the looting might occur again? Well, to be quite honest, it's deep in the back of our minds that once we rebuild and everything stabilized, there is a possibility mm -hmm. that it may be okay. And I think the government is very, very lax with their intelligence. And I think uh, it's just uh, total anarchy. And, and we're standing in what was a building. I mean, this is just a shell at the moment. When we were discussing the, the pain and sorrow, a year on from the, the tragic events, how, as a businessman, how do you feel now? Is there a sense of optimism with, the, with some of the rebuild going on? Or, uh, yeah, we're just keen to find out how you feel about things now. Well, basically, as yes, everything has been destroyed, and now we're rebuilding, we're looking on the positive side, the mere fact that we started off telling you that you know we need to go forward rather than looking back so uh, I think there's a lot of positive in this but as I said deep inside we're still a bit wary but um, having said that I think uh, the country's got to move forward and I think we need to create employment over here and that's basically uh, the whole complex is on the upper mind to create employment okay thank you very much for your time you're welcome